citizens advice for you was really easy to find. The best thing was how at ease I felt when I was there. All the staff were very approachable and very easy to talk to. I'd never realised how much help was available to me. Setting up an appointment was really easy. A lot of young people have not heard about the Citizens Advice Bureau and many don't realise how much help, advice and support they provide to young people around the UK. Well, I graduated from university with a degree but I couldn't find a job and I ended up with £30,000 worth of debt. Um, I moved home and signed on but I still couldn't find a job and I started getting a lot of um, credit card letters. I owed a lot of money from that. Um, I had one particular letter from the county court which told me that the credit card company wanted £4,000 off me which really scared me and didn't know what to do. Um, I also noticed on, on the letter it said um, I could go to the CAB and ask for advice there but I didn't know what they'd think of me so I was really worried about that. But because of the debts were just spiralling out of control I, you know, I, I did go, I went to the CAB and I found that the advisor was really, really nice. He, he reassured me, he helped me with everything. He helped me fill out the court forms, he helped me with their payment plan. And then um, I'm now an English teacher and he's helping me to increase my monthly payments. And hopefully I'm, um, I'm paying back everyone, all my creditors I'm paying back. And everything's under control again. The Citizens Advice Bureau are able to help with all kinds of debt problems such as rent arrears, credit cards, overdrafts and arrears on loans. No debt problem is too big or too small. So if you are worried about debts, don't worry. Just visit your local CAB and take with you the details of everything you owe. Well, when I was at university I needed to fund my education so I took a job at a local supermarket. Um, people found out I was gay. That made me a target. Um, somebody slightly senior in the staff um, kind of singled me out basically and it, it spread throughout the team. I had reported it to my manager but he kind of glossed over it and said that it died down. And, you know, um, so I kept trying, I did keep trying but it um, just didn't happen and eventually I was completely singled out. So I had to leave, I, I felt that there was no way that I could stay so I left. Uh, my friend told me about the Citizens Advice Bureau and I looked them up on the internet and eventually I went to one of the, the bureaus, I got an appointment and I went to see an advisor. She, um, she helped me, I went to see an employment specialist um, who took me to um, an employment tribunal. I took my case there because the fact that they were discriminating against me because I was gay is against the law. And because of that the supermarket admitted that they hadn't done enough to help me and um, they had to pay compensation so that helped me a lot. The Citizens Advice Bureau are able to advise you about problems that you have at work. So if you are not being paid full minimum wage or you are unfairly dismissed, then one of our experienced advisors will be able to advise you on your rights at work and how to take action against your employer. Well it started off um, when I was quite young, I fell in with the wrong crowd. I used to go out quite a lot and get drunk and miss school and eventually when I was 16 my mum just got absolutely sick of it and forced me to move out. I spent a little time with my dad and his partner, but found that I was just getting in the way. So I moved in with some friends of mine at a spare room. Um, they were alright for a while, but I found that I was struggling to find a job and was having problems claiming job seekers allowance. And so eventually, because I couldn't make any contributions, um, I had to move out. And then I was introduced to the CAB by a friend who said that they helped her claim her benefits. And so I wasn't sure that they'd help, but um, decided to go and book an appointment nonetheless. Um, went in and they were absolutely brilliant. Um, the, the lady there so, uh, helped me get job seekers allowance and some housing benefits to help pay the rent. Now I've got my own flat and um, I'm not on the streets. Advisors at the Citizens Advice Bureau are able to help you to claim the benefits that you are entitled to receive and to help you if you are finding it difficult to claim benefits. Young people can easily access the Citizens Advice Bureau with any kind of problem, no matter how big or how small. You can ring up to speak to someone. They are always understanding and listen to your issue. Coming into the Citizens Advice Bureau, I realised that you know there's lots of things that they can help me with other than just housing issues. And they can provide lots of support. They're a really friendly service, lots of friendly people around. Um, well, I go to the CAB, um, like I was like, because I wanted like to name the entitlements too, and they sorted it out for me and everything. And like, and they were really, really supportive towards me. 
know, I've had no worries about confidentiality or telling people, you know, my problems. You know, everything is treated in full confidentiality. So, you know, there's no worries about friends, family or people in the workplace finding out about anything. Your local Citizens Advice Bureau may one day be able to help you or one of your friends. Their expert advisors are always keen to help and urge you to contact them if you are ever in need. Remember, the advice is free, independent, impartial and confidential. I don't think that they'd be able to help me, but they really did solve my problems. They helped me stop worrying and get my life back on track. It's definitely the right place to go if you're in need of help or advice. You can find your local Citizens Advice Bureau through the website www.citizensadvice.org.uk and you can also obtain free online advice at www.adviceguide.org.uk.